This is Katerin with Vive Katerin. I'm here at Deep Esqual, the spa in Morris Plains, New Jersey for their second annual spring shopping soiree to benefit Camp Najata for children with diabetes. Tonight, the spa will transform into a shopping and beauty lounge courtesy of Neiman Marcus and the new Deep Esqual Beauty Bar. Other sponsors include Ruth Chris Steakhouse, JNR Cigar, Ferrari Maserati, and Perno Ricard. So stay tuned and let's check it out. I'm here with Justin De Pasquale. How are you? I'm doing great, Katarina. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for inviting me out and having me be a part of your event. It's a very special cause. Tell us about the spa. Congratulations on Thank the you. beauty bar. Thank you. Yeah, well, the spa has been around uh, for over 30 years now, and uh, we service about uh, 2,000 clients a week. So it's something we take a lot of pride in. This year, we're launching our brand new beauty bar. It's very exciting to us. It's going to be um, express services, anything from your brows to makeup, um, hair, beautiful braids and knots and buns, body art, all sorts of things. It's just going to elevate um, from here. But tonight is the official launch. So we brought in some amazing partners to help us do it, and it looks like everybody's having a great time. So tell us about Najeta Camp. It works for children with diabetes. Tell us a little bit about the camp. Okay, well Camp Najeta is a camp up in Stillwater, New Jersey. Um, it's a sleepaway camp, so people go there over the summer. It's for children uh, with type 1 diabetes. So you can go there at a very young age um, and go all the way through your teens and become a counselor and so on. But what's really special about it is um, there are many diabetics in the world and sometimes they feel that they're different. Um, especially when you're a child. Why do I have to take insulin? You know, why do I have to eat certain foods? And all of this stuff. So when you go to a place like that where there's other people like yourself, you feel at home. You feel like your family. You, you, you have a sense of comfort. And at Camp Camp Najeta, you have all of those, and they help to teach you how to manage your diabetes because it is a lifelong process. And it's not just for the children, they have great events and great weekends for the families, um, and great activities, and they even have this bonfire at the end of the camp week, and it's a really beautiful thing. I've witnessed the process myself, you know, through my brother who is a type 1 diabetic, and um, because that place is so special to us, which is why we tied this event into um, the camp. We felt it was, you know, something nice to add to this whole process. I'm here with Bill Verbukin from Camp Najeda. How are you tonight? I'm doing great. This is a fantastic event, isn't it? Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about Camp Najeda. I know it's a whole lot of fun. It's a year-round camp. We have about 400 kids that participate every summer. It's for children with type 1 diabetes. Um, they come up for a couple weeks at a time and it's 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 a place where they can go and just be normal. What are some of the type of things that kids do at the camp? Well besides doing being an educational camp, part of our mission is to have fun. And it's right in our mission saying we want the kids to enjoy themselves and they just have a great time. There's canoeing, there's basketball, there's volleyball, there, they do some day trips where they go out to amusement parks. Uh, it's all about fun for them as well as some learning. They do a tremendous amount of um, real life learning experiences and uh, teaching each other what, what they do when they have a, a low blood sugar, for example. There's a lot of uh, nutritional value they learn each day from, from, from camp and just from being around all the kids, so it's really cool. Bill, being the executive director, can you tell our viewers about some of your fundraising efforts? Oh boy, it's an incredible, every year we are shocked uh, about how much money we need to raise to keep the camp running. The children, uh, the children, about one-third of the kids go to camp for free every year. The other two-thirds pay roughly $950 to $1,000 a week. And of that, that doesn't cover our costs. So every year we are challenged to raise a half a million dollars, $600,000 a year. It's a 72-acre campus. We have 37 buildings. We are the only camp of its kind in the tri-state area. There's no one else around here that does it. So we bring in kids from all over the country to our camp. It's a, beautiful, it's a great place, beautiful place. I'm here with two clients at the Beauty Bar with Jennifer and Erica. How are are you? Good, we're good. How are you enjoying tonight's event? Loving it. Loving everything. I know, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. She just got her hair done. I got my eyebrows threaded. Awesome. I love it and I love the braid. I love it. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm just going everywhere trying everything out. I'm here with Sherry DiTolo. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you enjoying the event? Oh, it's great. I'm having a great time. Thank you. So tell us about your relationship with Deepa Squall, the spa. 
Well, I'm also a client of here, um, but I'm also very good friends with the family. I've known the sons for 10, 12 years. They're a great family, and it's a great atmosphere. I'm here with Stacy Camper. How are you tonight? Very great, thanks. How are you enjoying the event this evening? Oh, it's a great, great, great time. It's nice to see everybody all dressed and having fun, and it's a wonderful event. Tell us about how you enjoy the services here at Deepa Squall, the spa. The spa. I've been coming to Deepa Squall almost for as long as I can remember, for 16 years, I think. Uh, and I have stayed with Justin and Katie, and uh, I, I I'm, I'm a regular. I'm a I'm a frequent flyer, as I like to refer, <laughs> refer to. What's myself. your favorite service that you get done? Uh, it's my hair. It's all about my hair here. That's what I do. I'm here with Pat Chanchi from Ferrari Maserati of Central New Jersey. How are you tonight? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Are you enjoying the event? It's great. Uh, good food. Great people. Great cars. Great cars. <laughs> it doesn't get any better. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your involvement with the event tonight. Uh, we're just here to support. Uh, Pasquale and uh, Hudson Magazine and uh, Lydia from uh, Neiman Marcus. It's, it's just a great event and uh, we brought two cars down, a Ferrari California 2013 and a, a Maserati Gran Turismo convertible down over there, the white one. Uh, both great cars, both uh, handcrafted in Italy. Tell me about the special features of the 2013. Uh, the vehicle is uh, hardtop convertible, all aluminum, um, V8 front engine, over 480 horsepower, just uh, a, a work of art. I'm here with JNR Cigar, very exciting. Thank you so much for sponsoring the event this evening, Mike. We're glad to be here. We did it last year and we had a lot of fun and it's for a good cause, so we're glad to be here. Absolutely. And I just show up where I'm told to. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what we have here tonight. Uh, we actually have a sampling. Uh, we have two cigars, one very mild Dominican, our JR sampler, our number one selling cigar, actually. And we have our medium size, uh, medium uh, strength cigar, which is probably our number two or three seller. Tell us about your involvement with the event tonight. Well, uh, like I said, this is our second year here, and, and we're just here to have fun and, and hopefully contribute to uh, the cause. Uh, and it is a great organization uh, that we're dealing with tonight. We partner with De Pasquale on a number of events. They, they come to our events as well. So it's a really good partnership. I'm here with Todd McNiff, representative of Perno Ricard. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great, enjoying this beautiful event. It's lovely, isn't it? Tell us about your involvement with the event. Uh, Perno Ricard is here. We were asked to come and support a great charity. Um, have some people sample our products, obviously. Get to know us a little bit better. A lot of people know our products, but don't really know the name Perno Ricard. Um, but we are the second leading supplier of wine and spirits in the country. And we're here just to help out, get people a little bit more familiarized with our products and to uh, just have a good time, because that's what it's really all about, right? Absolutely. So tell us about some of the product you brought out here tonight. Well, out here we have a scotch tasting to combine with the cigars. So we have our Glen Livets which are our single malts, and then our Chivas Riga, which is our blend. Inside we have our wines and something new, which is Absolute Tune, which is a mix of Absolute Vodka and Sauvignon Blanc, which is really great. It just came out and it's only available in five states. Well, that one is definitely really exciting. It's sparkling wine, yes? It is. It's a sparkling. It's carbonated, mixed with Absolute Vodka. I'm here with Brian Moose from Cufflings, Inc. How are you tonight? I'm good, thank you. How are you enjoying this event? It's amazing. A lot of great turnout so far. Tell us about your involvement with the event. Uh, I'm very good friends with Joseph. He works at Neiman Marcus, and uh, we do a really good business with Neiman Marcus and we about 35 different stores. And so he invited us to come along and kind of join the event and bring some fun kind of novelty cufflinks. So we do everything from Major League Baseball, NFL, NBA, uh, Star Wars, DC Comics. So kind of a variety, different price points. And uh, so yeah, a lot of fun cufflinks. Now these are not just cufflinks. They do have one particular feature that we want to let our viewers know about. Yeah, absolutely. They are novelty, but at the same time functional. So we actually do a Superman and also a Batman, but they're functional USBs that you can wear two gigs wow. on your sleeve. So it's a lot of uh, a little technology, kind of your inner geek. I'm here with Vanessa from Orifici. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great, enjoying the event. So many people, great turnout. 
tell us a little bit about the watches that we have here tonight. Oda Fici is set in the 30s in Italy, in Milan, and launched in the United States three years ago. It's a brand exclusive in Nima Marcus. And um, the approach is to have a watch that looks meets the standards of sophisticated and sporty at the same time. Um, and it has been amazing for you know Nima Marcus and all the like small boutiques that carry down in South Florida. I mean, people love them because there's, they make a statement and they're bold and then they follow the trends with the rose gold and blue and limited edition collections and all the details that they put in the watches. I'm here with Aria Simpson from New York Street. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So how are you enjoying the event tonight? Oh, I think the event is fabulous. This is a, you know, just shows the top level of quality in terms of our partnership with Neiman Marcus. And I'm just so happy to be here. It looks like everybody's having a great time. Absolutely. So tell us about New York Streets. Okay, so New York Streets is a professional hair care collection. It is really developed for individuals who have an edgy, artistic, creative sense of style. It's all about the style of the hair and getting that edge. I know you do a lot of work during fashion. Fashion Week. Tell us about that. We do. We are behind the scenes at fashion shows all over the world here in the United States. Um, we did Fashion Week in September of last year and we styled um, hair for the Loris Lisby Fashion Show, so it was an evening wear, um, as well as for Dore uh, evening gowns as well. So Arias, tell us what is the trendiest product you currently have on the market? Well, you know, right now, one of the products that's been getting a lot of attention on the blogs, in publications and things like that is really our dry shampoo. As you know, there's a trend toward dry shampoo in terms of extending the style of your hair. Um, with the summer days coming and people going to the beach and not having time necessarily to do a full wash, dry shampoo is really a great way to extend the life of your style. It absorbs excess oil. Um, also odors and it really just infuses hair with body and gives it a little bit of a boost and a lift and it's it's just really great. I'm here with owner Mark Clevett from Candylicious. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. This event has been fabulous so far. It's awesome. We're having a great time. So tell us a little bit about the chocolate we have here tonight. Tonight I brought a bunch of uh, burned truffles. There uh, we have white chocolate with coconut, milk chocolate with milk, dark chocolate with raspberry. Um, this is just some of the things that we have in our store. We have 8,000 different items in our store. Old time candy, um, all, the new t all the new stuff, and uh, we have lots of different chocolates as well. So tell us about Candelicious. Where are you located and what's your specialty? Uh, we're located on Route 10 West in uh, Randolph, New Jersey, uh, almost into Sakasana. And our specialty is all of our chocolates and all the old time stuff that you can't find anymore. I'm here with Kurt Lufkin from Black Label Choppers. How are you? I'm good tonight. Tell us about this. Is it the Johnny Walker? Yeah, Johnny Walker bike. Uh, we built this in 45 days for a biker build off. Uh, it's like our shop bike. So you also build bikes. Tell us oh. about that. Well, this one was built for a, a biker build off in 45 days uh, from scratch, um, hand carved tank, uh, hand carved uh, rear fender, um, 113 uh, motor. Yeah, it's a you know, pretty fast bike. What's your inspiration with building and designing these bikes? Well, I've been riding motorcycles since I was 12. And we, we uh, have body shops. My father has five body shops, or me and my brothers, we bought from my father. We, we expanded five body shops. And we said, well, let's do something we want to do. Um, so we started building motorcycles. My brother Joe said, Kurt, you can build a motorcycle. I know it. So then uh, we started building motorcycles, and we're, we're doing really well with it. It's, it's a lot of fun, and, you know, it you know, makes things nice, you know, working on cars and motorcycles at the same time. 